Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Unfortunately, we got away with it the way we demean Ed Galungu, because like I said, Ed Galungu cannot defend anyone and he cannot defend himself. He cannot defend anyone, he cannot defend himself, especially on the political scene. So all these things that John Sangwa has said, I mean, you will not hear Ed Galungu coming up and challenging uh, uh, John Sangwa. And this is why, but from my point of view, I said, no, this is a man that I am campaigning for. There is no way I'm going to sit back and allow this narrative to run to say Ed Garungu was just a useless man, was just a, an indisciplined lawyer. No, no. And I want also to tell you that it is not out of uh, poverty that he went in and stayed in Chawama. No, he bought a house there. He wanted to contest in Chawama and he went and stayed there with the people. And the people responded, the people um, you know, warmed up to Ed Galungu. And that's how, you know, the people that he campaigned for when he didn't contest, they won the election. And when he contested the election in 2011, he won the election. So this is not a man that just came from nowhere. No. No. He has a track record. He has worked his way up. When he joined the PF, he worked so much with my Ed Galungu, with, with Vasat. Eh? He worked so much with Vasat. And that's how Vasata gave him the respect. Of course, when they won the elections, he gave him as he became he gave him a position of deputy uh, deputy minister in the office of the vice president. There, I mean, he was lifted. He became the home affairs minister, he became the defense minister, he became the secretary general. The man has worked his way up. Finally, he became president. Finally, he became president. Becoming president is not easy. It's not easy. But John Sangwa has embarked now his political career to become president. Let's see how far he will go. Let's see how far he will go. It is not easy. Look at uh, my brother Malema in South Africa. My brother Malema in South Africa is famous. But look at the results that he's getting. Look at the results that he's getting. We also have a number of people that contested in the last election. Look at the results that they got. Some of these people, they are actually very, very much known. Eh? Some of them have got bigger names than Bajon Sang. But they didn't. So it is not easy to become a president. Don't take it lightly. In a Chifisenda lightly. In a Chifisenda lightly. That's why some of you, Mula, Mula, you know, like uh, one of, um, one of these, these friends of mine that I have, you know, you act like you know what you are. Hey, why are you supporting Ed Galungu? It is, it is your time. Hey, why don't you contest? You have got support. Tefio. Ine na ribu pero mchinshi wuka teka. Na ribu pero mchinshi. I'm not going to just do tutu muna from nowhere. Pupu pupu. Hey, ndei minina. I'm going to be president. Uh -uh. It needs time. It needs time. It needs time. And... Uh, Many, some of us might not even succeed. I don't know. Some of us might not even succeed. It needs grace from God. You need it. Ed Kalungu is not the best. In Desumina, I know you say, hey, Ed Kalungu, this, 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 and Desumina. He has got faults. But he is the man with grace. Ed Kalungu at the moment has more grace than the Haka in the HDMI is there. Because the Haka in the HDMI is in State House, but what is he doing? Really, what is he doing? What is Vaka in the HDMI doing? What is Vaka in the HDMI doing? Ed Galungo to whatever tower, Nicha Koro and whatever, whatever. Look at what he did. Ed Galungo to Shilendisebo. 
Edgar Lungu ali tushile fipatala. Edgar Lungu ali tushila uh, amaya ndia waka pokola. Waka pokola ndia atha sivu sevanzi. Alisha. Ali kula masukulu. Edgar Lungu. Ali mibikila na fly over bridge. Edgar Lungu. Waka inde ishile mafinshi wa chitapo. Waka ule fimbu su. Ifia wula no, no, kufuwa, no ifia fuasa. Ifia fuasa ta vila amba no kubumba ifia fuasa. Ifimbu su ifia wa waka inde ishile ma. Efa mwingalanda po. Elo mungu kita compare, can you compare the leadership of Ed Galungu? Uyui ni mweba, no, he's a useless, he's a chakura. Can you compare the leadership of Ed Galungu and the leadership of HH? Can you compare it? You cannot. You cannot. That man has grace. And let us just accept it. That man has grace. Once I could try to do it, I could try to do it, I could try to do it, I could try to do Ba Jack Slab, ba Sean Tembo, ba Chalaka Teka, ba Savoy. Eh? Na hine une kutina hivika po kumuku itutumuna. But at the moment, really, the man who was the grace is that one. That is why ba haka inde ichine matawale lala. Ba haka inde ichine matawale lala, he doesn't sleep on Ed Galungu. And every day, he keeps on campaigning for haka inde, for Ed Galungu. Every day he keeps ba haka inde ichine. Mama waila ukacha, they will be campaigning for Ed Galungu. They will be campaigning for Ed Galungu. Because the man has grace. And that grace is as a result of, I think, what he had put in in his early life. Is as a result of on how he saved Zambia when he was president. Three years. Three years. Nothing. Nothing. If anything, he has just made things worse. I'm sure wale papa no papa kushe kwena ale teka shani. I'm sure wale waka inde ichi lima wala papa. Ukwe wat ale teka shani. Ako wani ishe shani. Because nangumulande waka inde ichi lima wale nda pali drought. Eh drought. Nomba, nomba drought. Eh liko. Eh eh liko. Ne drought. Drought. Ed Galungu did not only encounter drought. Ed Galungu went through the harsh reality of COVID. Harsh reality of COVID. So really, you can't compare. You can't compare the leadership of Bahaka in the HM. You can't compare it to Baed Galungu. You can't compare. This man is far, far much better than Bahaka in the HM. If Bahaka in the HM was a reasonable man, he would actually say, you know what? Come and take over. I'm resigning. Or at least he would humble himself to go and ask him to say, Mune wale take a shani. How were you leading? How did you manage? At least, if he doesn't want to give up. But, Haka Inde Ishilema, we will go embarrassed. He, will, he who is going to be embarrassed by Ed Galungu. He is going to be embarrassed. Not because Ed Galungu is going to do it or Ed Galungu wants to do it, but by the grace that Ed Galungu carries. Haka Inde Ishilema, we will be, we will be so humiliated. We will be so humiliated. I'm telling you, mark my words. Haka in the will be so humiliated because that man, Ed Galungu, is bouncing back. He's going to bounce back. And Haka in the is going to fight it, but it will not work. He's going, to, he's going back. Whether Haka in the likes it or not, whether they want to play Mingarato, eh? Never, uh, we win and can a uh, uh, Munalula, eh? Judge President, work concord, or oh, Chief Justice. Whether they play in Mingarato, eh? whether they play in Mingarato, Ed Galungu is coming back. He's coming back. And which, which brings me now to this issue of immunity. They now want to arrest Ed Galungu. They want to arrest Ed Galungu. I want to tell you that arresting Ed Galungu will not take you anywhere. But it will just accelerate your leaving, uh, uh, you know, leaving the presidency. And you're leaving the presidency and it will not go anywhere. It will not go anywhere. It will not go anywhere. You will just be campaigning. There will be more campaign for, for, uh, for, for Ed Galungu. And I am saying, I hold it that actually, 
This is my this is my villain. They were abandoned for Mungu on Kevin of Winner's hand. Mungu on Kevin of Winner's hand. I hold a view that Edgar Chagalungu still enjoys immunity from prosecution. Nepuisha. Edgar Chagalungu enjoys immunity from prosecution. And if somebody is immune from prosecution, definitely it means you cannot arrest him. Because you arrest so that you can take a person to court. But if a person cannot be prosecuted, how can you arrest him? How can you arrest him? Now, here is where I want to refer to, to the Constitution. Usually I don't like to read the Constitution and, um, you know, interpreting it. But because we, we are discussing this, I just have to do. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So, because we, 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 we I, I want us to be concrete in the way that we, we talk about this. I want us to refer to the, to the Constitution. So, I posted Article 98. I posted Article 98, and I hope that some of you uh, read it, because that is what talks about it. The immunity. I hope you have read it, but for the benefit of, for the purpose of this discussion, I want us to read these articles and then, you know, uh, interpret it, okay, as we, we read. Change some, to some vision. The, the, the constitution is not written only for lawyers to interpret. It is written for all of us, you know, to understand. So, Article 98 says, Article 8, 1, clause 1, eh? Article 8, clause 1. It says, A person shall not institute or continue civil proceedings against the president or a person performing executive functions as provided in Article 109 in respect of anything done or omitted to be done by the president or that person in their private capacity during the tenure of uh, office. Now, listen very carefully there. I will read this again. And I want to emphasize about tenure of office. So it's saying a person shall not institute, meaning you cannot start or continue, for example, uh, before he had civil cases, he had civil cases. So when he became president, those cases could not continue. You cannot continue. You cannot continue. Or you cannot start. Okay? You cannot start a case now. Which case are we talking about? They are talking about civil proceeding. Civil, not criminal. Civil proceeding against the, the president or a person performing executive functions as provided for in Article 109. Now, Article 109 is basically talking about a person who acts in the absence of the president. That is Article 9. So basically they are saying a person that is president or a person who is acting in the absence of the president, you cannot, uh, you know, continue you cannot you cannot start or continue civil litigation against them. You can't. So now whether you cannot take them to court. Now he cannot continue to pursue that debt. He can't. That is a civil matter. But they are saying, listen to this part very very carefully. In respect of any anything done or omitted to be done by the president or that person in their private capacity during during the tenure of office as president so they are being very specific that during tenure they are being very specific they haven't just left a blank statement a statement 
They are saying, in, as, when they are president, you cannot start or they cannot, you cannot start a, or continue a civil litigation. You can't. During their tenure, it is written there. During their tenure, meaning, Ngabafuma office, it is very clear. It is automatic that you can sue them or they can sue. And this is actually well presented in, in clause two. Listen to clause two. The president shall not in the shall not in the president's private capacity during the tenure of officers president constitute or continue as civil um, civil proceedings against the person. The first one says you cannot sue him or you cannot continue pursuing a president as a civil whatever. Two says even him as a president, he cannot. He cannot sue. First one is saying you can't start a, a, a civil litigation against the president. You can't. You can't. Okay? Second one, it says even him, he cannot sue. Even him, he cannot sue. Civil litigation. Then, three now. Listen to three very well. Three says, for the purposes of clause one, clause one which is saying you cannot sue the president, civil litigation, you can't. And clause two, clause two which is saying the president cannot sue. Where a law omits, where the law limits the time within which proceedings may be brought against the person. The term of office shall not be taken into account in counting the period of time. Now, here needs a little bit of explanation. You know, if you have got in a umuntu ngana ngana ngwatile ngongole, ngwatile ngongole, and then I don't ask this person to pay. Okay, I don't ask this person to pay. After a period of time, there is what they call Irian Kongole is status bad. I think it is three years or five years. I'm not sure. It is status bad, meaning you cannot, Nishi, you, you, you have sat on your rights, as they say. You have sat on your right. You cannot claim Irian Kongole. After three years, in it, I've got a good example. A good example because. Uh, you know, uh, uh, this this Kagel is my friend. Uh, for example, in Kwatenko Ngole Kuri at Ethel Chisono. In Kwatenko Ngole Kuri Ethel Chisono. So, Ethel Chisono, in Kwatenko Ngole Nkwete. Ethel is not talking about it, whatever, whatever. And, imi akasha pita. Three years ya pita. I'm not sure it fit is three years or four years. Okay, let's say five years ya pita. And Chisono doesn't talk about her date. And she's just quiet. After five years, it becomes status bar. And Chisono cannot come to me and say, hey, and after five years, I'll say, hey, sorry, it is status bad. Time for you to collect that money is gone. So you cannot ask me for that money. So what this article is talking about is that when a president becomes president, let's say now, by church now, Kwaten Kongole. By church, Nimba Kwaten Kongole. Let's say by church, he has given me money, which I'm supposed to pay him. Then he becomes president. And then he stays as president for five years. Eh? Did I am 2021 in the church lent me money? 1,000 kwacha. 2021 he becomes president. He stays until 2020, uh, 2026, because 2026. So 2026, 2027, after five years, my HH, my said, I want my money. I cannot say no, your debt is started bad. I cannot say that. Why? Because the time that is president is not considered. That is what the law is saying. The time that is president is not considered. Meaning, at the time, Muriam 2026, he can, he has a right to come back and ask for the money, even if five years has elapsed, which is different from Chisono. Chisono, 
She's not a president. And she has to ask for that money. If she doesn't ask, after five years, it is started bad. But for her age, since he's president, after Bafuma will president, he can come back and ask for that money. That is what Clause 3 is talking about. Clearly, Clause 1 is talking about the president not being able to sue. Clause 2 is talking about the president... Uh, 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 the first one, the, the first one is talking about not a person not being able to sue the president during the time of his office. The next one is talking about the, the president not being able to sue anyone, a citizen. Third one is saying, I mean, the time of being in office is not considered if he has to ask for his money or you have to ask for his money. It is not considered. Number four. Let's listen to close four now. A party party close four. Close four says subject to close nine. Subject to close nine. But I won't continue reading. I want us to look at what is close nine saying before we continue reading so that we understand. Clause 9 is saying where immunity is removed, where immunity is removed in accordance with clause. This thing brought up something, something funny on the So, 9 is saying, where immunity is removed in accordance with Clause 8. What is Clause 8 saying? Where the select committee constituted under Clause 6. What is Clause 6 saying? Where the National Assembly receives a report. Basically, if you go back, the all, the all of those articles, to remove immunity, they must be a, a, a case must be presented in parliament and the committee must be set and after a committee is set you know they give um, a report and that is what this article uh, article 6 is talking about and that report can be to remove somebody as immunity this is article 9 so article 9 basically is talking about removing immunity using parliament that's basically what he's talking about and now I can go back to article 4 we understand what Article 9 is. Article 9 is basically removing immunity through parliament. That is what that is what it is all saying. So if we go back to clause 4, Article 98, clause 4, subject to clause 9, which is removing immunity through parliament, the president, the president, or a person performing executive functions as provided for in 109 when the president is not available when the president is not available substantive president is not available he's is immune meaning is immune you cannot prosecute him is immune is immune from criminal proceedings is immune from criminal proceedings is immune from criminal proceedings, which immunity continues, which immunity continues after that person ceases, after that person ceases to hold or a person performing the function of that office. Which immunity continues? He's immune from prosecution. And this immunity continues even after you leave office. That's what it is saying here. That is what basically it is saying here. In black and white, it is saying that the person that is, that is president or a person that acts on behalf of him, you know, according to 109, this, this person is immune from prosecution and this immunity continues even after he leaves office. 
That's what it is saying there. That is what it is saying. Take over. That is what it is saying there. That it continues. The immunity continues even after you leave office. It continues. Immunity continues even after you leave office. Ndeve lenga pa nshiref. Nshiref nya mutu mumwande. Aha. Ndeve lenga pa. Ndeve lenga pa. Mungu mfuikishe again. Article 984. Subject to clause 9. Whereby. Ngataba fumishe mu parliament. If they don't remove immunity from parliament. If they don't remove immunity from parliament. Because that is what article uh, clause 9 is saying. Subject to clause 9, the president or a person performing executive functions as provided for in article 109 is immune, is immune from criminal proceedings, which immunity continues after that person ceases to hold that office. It continues. That is what it is saying here. Now, I know the argument that you are having. I know the question that you are asking. The question, the first question that you ask is, eh, okay, so are you telling, are you telling us that uh, Ed Galungu or whoever has left office is above the law? Eh? What if he, he shoots a person? What happens? Eh? What if a person who was in office because he, he, this immunity continues. Eh? The, if you are saying that this immunity continues, uh, what if he shoots a person? What if he shoots a person? I will answer it in reverse. What if Haka Inde Ichirema, who is now president, what if he shoots a person? Is he above the law? Munjasuke, what if I'm answering it in reverse? Okay, for Ed Galung, before I talked about Ed Galung, what about Ed Haka in the Ichirema? If he takes a gun, shoots a person, does it mean that he is above the law? Does it mean that he will get away with it because he's president? Because he has immunity? Does it? No. 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 This is immunity from prosecution. Immunity from prosecution. Immunity from prosecution doesn't mean that you cannot commit a crime. Uh -uh. Doesn't mean that your actions or your actions that you do, they are not a crime. They are spotless. They are, they are infallible. No, it doesn't make you infallible. Having immunity from prosecution doesn't make you infallible. I hope much of a church soon with you. Meaning to say, much as you have got an immunity, it doesn't mean that you cannot commit a crime. You, no, it doesn't mean that. Having immunity doesn't mean that you cannot commit a crime. You can still commit a crime. Except that you cannot be prosecuted. You cannot be prosecuted. But your immunity, you have it. Your immunity, you have it. So, Haka Inde Ichirema has immunity from prosecution. Not that he, whatever he does is, 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 um, is uh, uh, what, what is the word? Is legal. No. No. It doesn't mean that it's legal. The same thing with Edgar Lungu. It's not that everything that he does is legal. No. It's not legal. It cannot be legal. Certain things, if he does something wrong, it is illegal. It will be considered illegal. Just like even Haka in the HDMI, when he does something which is wrong, which is against the law, which contravenes our laws, it is illegal. It is illegal. But you cannot prosecute him because he has immunity. He is still president. Now, if we agree that being immune from prosecution doesn't mean being immune from not committing a crime. You can still commit a crime, except that you cannot be prosecuted. Now, if we agree on that one, if we agree on that one, the question that we ask is, 
in the law in the law and i'm sure we learn can ba lawyer ba state council ba letam therefore kumi push ako in the constitution as we have it it is saying when a person becomes president he gets the immunity from prosecution the question that i have for to all of you i am sure you are going to call in i've given the phone number i want you to call in the question that i have is which article in our constitution defines how immunity is removed which article in this constitution defines or prescribes how immunity is removed because when you become president you get that immunity but how does the immunity end if you are a president how does it end does it end automatically when you pre when you are no longer president is that what it, is that what it means when you are no longer a president then the immunity goes is that what it means you might say yes but i would say no and why do i say no if the law if the law meant that the moment you president wapwa the moment your tenure finishes your your immunity finishes they would have put it like the way they have done in article 1 981 they have clearly stated that at the end of your term you are subject to this kind of litigation but this one they have not attached to the term they have said it continues it continues that immunity continues that's what it is saying there in article 1 it's very specific your term when the term finishes you are on your own you are on your own they have clearly stated it why didn't they state it here if they wanted to say your immunity you can now be prosecuted you are on your own why didn't they state it here like the way they have done in in the other one by the fact that they have not included it there instead they have said it continues it simply means that immunity continues Eddie Galungu still enjoys that immunity because if you are saying no the immunity does not continue the question that i'm asking you is that show me the article article one for civil cases is very clear is very clear so imwe bon say imwe ba state council yo ine taboka wano uwata wata too much na ba state council ben uko ba bena ahimbe ine ndefo amunje beko in this constitution in this constitution show me where it says that once your tenure is finished once you cease to be president your immunity is removed other than what is here because here what i'm reading is that which immunity continues after that person ceases to hold office that is what i'm reading i want now an article which is saying the moment you stop being president your immunity goes with goes away i want to i want that one that article because you cannot just be uh, speculating you cannot even i'm willing to learn i'm willing to learn i want to hear i want to hear show me the article which removes the immunity on the president when he ceases article 1 is very clear for civil cases we are very clear no 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 problems but for criminal matters it's saying which immunity remains which immunity remains and the immunity that i'm talking about is immunity from prosecution they are not saying you cannot commit a crime ah uh -uh. they are not saying they cannot commit a crime no even a hacker in the HMA, it's not that he cannot commit a crime he can commit a crime but he cannot be prosecuted so even ed galungu similarly with ed galungu he has immunity but this doesn't mean that he cannot commit a crime he can commit a crime the only thing is that you cannot prosecute him because he has immunity and if you say no he doesn't have immunity then i'm asking you show me where 
it is saying that the moment you end up president, immunity goes away. Show me the article. I hope Tom for now we know we know sana. I am saying he can commit a crime just like Haka Indich never can commit a crime. The problem is you cannot take him to court. You can't. You can't take him to court. For Edgar Lungu, he also can also commit a crime, but you cannot take him to court. But you say, no, 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 no. He doesn't have immunity because he's no longer president. He's a former president. And when he became president, he had immunity. When did the immunity finish? You say, no, no, no. Uh, the moment he handed over power, show me where that is written. Show me the way it is written, party civil litigation. Party civil litigation, they have put it there. That the moment the, ten, the, 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 the tenure ends, it means you can sue this person. Why haven't they put it there? Are you telling me that these people were fools? They were fools to omit this one. They put it on civil, but on criminal they don't put it. Are you telling me? Are you telling me they were fools not to put it there? Because it's you now interpreting to say, no, 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 when he ends, the immunity ends. Now me, I'm asking you to say, okay, fine. If it ends, show me. Show me. Give me the article. Because according to me, immunity can only be removed according to me according to the constitution that i'm that i have here can only be removed according to according to section a uh, clause five clause five says where there is a prima facie evidence that a person who held office the law is very clear Listen to Article 5, according to me, because when you are saying no, when the moment he ceases to be president, the immunity goes. Tabukawana. Mlambo aimbe. Ba president we never haka inde ichilema. You are saying the moment he leaves office, immunity finishes. The question, the challenge that I have is that show me the article which says that. According to me, what removes immunity is clause 5, clause 5, clause 6, clause 7, clause 8, clause 9. This is, this is the procedure. And the procedure starts by where there is a prima facie evidence that a person who held the office of president, and they are very clear, huh? the person who held, who held eh, the office of president, who performed the executive function, committed an offense whilst in office or during the period that the person performed the executive, the president shall submit the report outlining, outlining the grounds relating to the offense alleged to the National Assembly and the National Assembly will remove the immunity from criminal proceedings of that person. So you have to take it to parliament. You have to take it. That is the way you are going to remove. Where the National Assembly receives a report submitted according to uh, Clause 5, National Assembly shall constitute a select committee to scrutinize the grounds. Okay? Then, 7, the person who held office okay, or performed the executive function be presented and be held before a select committee under Clause Six meaning the person has to come and uh, defend himself. Where the select committee finds that this person has got an issue, then they will make a recommendation. Clause nine, immunity is removed. So it is very clear. These are the steps that you follow. That is the, those are, that is how you remove immunity. So you cannot say no because he's no longer president. He doesn't have immunity. No, you can't say that. And I'll give you another example. I'll give you another example. The example that I'm giving you is, you are saying because Edgar Lungu is no longer president, okay, immediately he ended the president, it meant that his immunity is gone. Okay, 
Let's now take something similar. There is an oath that those people who take this public office, including the president, the oath of secrecy, eh? the oath of secrecy, the moment you enter into office, you swear, just like the president swears to become president. When he swears to become president, he has to follow, you know, what is prescribed in that office. So, for the oath of secrecy, the moment you leave office, does it mean that the, your, automatically your oath of secrecy is gone? Eh? Therefore, come in push up because you are saying no party immunity. No, the moment he comes out, that's it. Okay, fine. What about party oath of secrecy? Does it mean that because you are no longer out of you, you are out of office, meaning you are not bound by the oath of secrecy, meaning you can just start talking anyhow? Can you? Can you are no longer in office? Can you? You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. So, as far as I'm concerned, Ed Galungu still enjoys immunity. And it is wrong for Waka in the Ichirima to be going to say, Ed Galungu will soon be arrested. I'm not saying this to defend it, uh, Ed Galungu from being arrested, because I know the moment he's arrested, they will actually be campaigning for him. It will be a campaign for him. It will be good for him. There will be more political mileage. You would have helped us to campaign for him. So even those plans that you are making, I'm receiving intelligence that you want to arrest him. Go ahead and arrest him. In, um, uh, 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 as uh, one of those people who is campaigning for Edgar Lungu, I'm saying go and arrest him. Arrest him. Continue doing the bad things that you do to Aka to, to, to Edgar Shagwalungu. Continue. Because you are making news for him. Continue talking about him. People are able to tell. Continue saying, hey, hey, I'm a panga. Whatever, whatever. You guys, I want to declare, you who are my friends, you who are my friends, you who don't want me to, be, to start to be mentioning your names, eh? you who don't want me to be mentioning your names, I am telling you, that be very careful when you talk about Ed Galungu. Because when you talk about Ed Galungu, I'll be responding. Ed Galungu is my project. And it must succeed. And I will not allow you to bring it down. I will not allow you to bring it down. Yes, let's criticize objectively, like I do on Haka in the HDMI. I dis I I I I criticize Haka in the HDMI objectively. Objectively. What I talk about, it's real. It's real. So, when you talk about Ed Galungu, be very careful. You might just in, uh, find yourself in my filing range. Because I'm in my politics to reach them. So, I can say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, some of you, you should not be even speaking too much because you are not even UPND. You are just chances. You are just chances. So, muteka nyesan, muku wata wata too much, pa wata wami mona chiyo, ni mamu liko, it will not help you. This UPND is going. is going. And some of you, even to win those seats as members of parliament, it will be a battle. It will be a battle. So, muteka nyesan, muteka nyesan, because have you seen have you seen by UPN by the no number? He will come with you. Have you seen by UPF by the no number? Pang. Have the no number? Pang and by UPND. By UPND, they were violent. By PF, yes, they were responding to the violence of UP of of U of UPND. So, like any other people, Ed Galungu does not encourage 
ukoba jawan tabadi nuna ma bank so ita mat na ah umuntu amone kafi na ma banga eh ati mulo pa wako mulo pa wako ba ka buswe ba ka buswe mulo pa nshimwa kwa time wa palwa eh mulo pa nshimwa kwa towa palwa mulingana na edgalungu so mwi pere mwa refo kwa ati mule sawaira sawaira pa di edgalungu it's not that i'm saying you know you cannot talk about it galungu you can talk but be sure that ile walanda pa di edgalungu na fiunfo if it doesn't make sense like the way i heard by john sangwa what by john sangwa doesn't make sense what by john sangwa said was spiteful uh, it was uh, uncalled for you can criticize it galungu but you cannot go to those levels eh no he was an indiscipline eh he was smelling alcohol yes but john sangwa ed galungu used to drink he used to drink now he doesn't drink he, what he used to drink. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. He doesn't. I know. Ed Galungu doesn't drink uh, uh, the way he was drinking. No. He was drinking, that's for sure. He was drinking. It's true. But Ed Galungu, since he went into state house, he doesn't drink. He doesn't. Eh? Unless I'm going to drink na goke de shan shan kawa in filafine sometimes na na vekala pa kudya bala no am but not at jama spirit vision vale no a a tabanwa tabanwa so uwa wa remove ed galungu from there remove him so over john sang forget it eh yes he was making money and he, everyone has his own way of spending money everyone has his own way of spending money eh ile vale kwa tempia vale va 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 Right, galungu vale kwa tempia ni and he was spending it on beer. Just like you, naimuwa John Sango, mwa likuwa ta the way you spend money. Eh? Naimuwa itemwa, eh? Kala kene kala ifikadia? Eh? Mwa itemwa kala kala ifikadia? Na makala ya ndeke? Eh? Imoto wa didingana, wa John Sango na imuwa na ito wabafi ya musemu ligi. Eh? Kala ifikadia, kaya kala kala ifikadia? Eh? Naimuwa likuwa taka passion kendo. Eh, galungu walikuwa ite passion yakwe. At that time, ekwale womba na ko, eh? Ekwale womba na ko. Na imwe wa sangu na imwe alikuwa taka na nitani kariya. Kuchira muntu alikuwa taka ulema. Wansu alikuwa taka ulema. Eh? Ba John sangu na imwe alikuwa taka ulema. Mwalikuwa taka ulema kumona wirolu pia. Ka weakness kenu. Kadia ka weakness. Kadia ka mdala kada na mkeshiwa. Kadia kadia na mkeshiwa. Eh? But you know. That we should not be coming here to be discussing these things. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. Yeah? We shouldn't. But I mean, if you drag us into those levels, I mean, some of us, uh, hello, we can go down that route. Hello, if we want us to start the, being personal and whatever, whatever. Ah, mdala. Kutituafifum. Kutituafifum. So, muteka nyesan. Avena kabuswe. Avena nankane. Uyu mulenga. Muteka nyesana, muteka nyesana, muteka nyesana. Eh, haka inde ichile, mwecho mfido kishwa mualea. Especially you members of parliament, you have to know that haka inde ichile ma is going. So, tread very carefully. Otherwise, muka isanga muli muamone. Muka isanga muli muamone. Just that, eko nka wako kuliwa, kukuteko kwa wa Edgar Lungu. And I want to make sure that, we unite Zambia instead of following each other. If you are following, following each other, following each other, that you won't be. But the chakwa tumu tampe ba purukutu purukutu. Tamu ai tampe wino guys. Tamu ai tampe wino tamu kwa wino parliament in demi. Haka haka in the chile ma will never bring you in parliament. Icho chena haka in the chile ma will never bring you in parliament. So be very careful, especially kopa belt. Hey, we pena na kono muila pena. Kopa belt lusaka ukusai ju. Aha. Muka muka lukuta bengi muka lukuta kwa tima masukwa ya bola. Efo muka la lukuta muka lukuta. Tamu waka itambe wini. So move very very careful. Very very careful. Anyway. That is. That was my presentation for tonight. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. 
Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.